Congressman Greg Khalili Sablon submits a statement for publication in the congressional record during the pro forma session to the United States House of Representatives. This letter is titled Stand Up for U.S. Workers and it addresses the Speaker of the House. And Congressman Khalili Sablon sits down with KSPN2 to tell us the reason for this. U.S. workers were laid off uh, and replaced by foreign workers uh, with H-2B visas, and that is wrong. Standing up for U.S. workers, this is the statement Congressman Greg Khalili Sablon submitted for publication in the congressional record during the pro forma session of the United States House of Representatives on August 14, 2018. As he states, it is wrong of Imperial Pacific International to lay off temporarily hundreds of U.S. workers at the casino construction site. Uh, and someone had to stand up and say something for those laid off U.S. workers and their families. Uh, I understand uh, there may have been another legislator who stood up. But, uh, I uh, put my statement in the congressional record because that is the way to get the bureaucracy to pay attention. Pay attention to this. Pacific Rim, the contractor, announces in July the layoff of employers due to pending contract renegotiation. And meanwhile, work goes on using foreign workers with H-2B visas, replacing the U.S. workers. In his statement, Congressman Khalili Sablon says, quote, this raises the question of why the U.S. Department of Labor, as it has reported to me, issued 1,668 foreign labor certifications to Imperial Pacific International to hire the H-2B visa holders who are now taking the jobs of U.S. workers in apparent contravention of the U.S. labor law, end quote. I already brought the Assistant Secretary of Labor uh, to my office and told her what's going on almost a month ago, and uh, I do not see any action. As Congressman informs that H-2B visa workers are only to be hired when no U.S. workers are available. The law says that you H-2B workers are not supposed to replace or remove U.S. workers. And so I am holding the United States Department of Labor accountable for this. To clarify, it is illegal what they're doing then? It's wrong. And it's not, yes, it may be illegal. Again, there is a, a section in the U.S. Department of Justice that works hand in hand with the U.S. Department of Labor. But again, U.S. Department of Labor has to make a determination that this is illegal and that the U.S. Department of Justice agents, this are agents, is an agency or a unit within the Department of Justice, need to take legal action. And in this statement addressed to the House Speaker, Congressman provides a report and timeline of the history of occupational safety, health, wage, and house violations that the Department of Labor previously uncovered at this job site. Also providing the assurances Pacific Rim, the Commonwealth Casino Commission, and Governor Ralph Torres made on behalf of hiring more U.S. workers to finish the construction of the hotel site, with this hotel construction end date to be August 2018. And Congressman Khalili Sablon concludes his statement saying this must stop. Quote, the people of the Northern Mariana Islands whom I represent are tired of having outside foreign interests time after time give our islands a black eye by skidding the law, cutting corners on safety, playing fast and loose with the rule, and thinking they can get away with it, beholden only to their bottom line and handful of high-ranking local officials, end quote. I made the public statement to light a fire uh, under the U.S. Department of Labor. U.S. workers lost their jobs to foreign workers, and that's not right.